What's happening, dude? I'm the guy with the rep for being rude. Terrorizing people wherever I go. It's not intentional, just keeping the flow. Well, hi, everybody. This is Pookie, and uh, sorry I've been away so long here. I've been kind of busy with work and haven't had much time to mess around with Vegas lately. Um, I had a request here to show how you can change eye colors. I want to first off say that using Vegas to change eye colors it works but um, it, it's not great but uh, let's go over how you can do that okay uh, since most of you are working with video I'm gonna use a video clip here take out that audio first thing we wanna do okay on this video clip is we wanna go ahead and do chroma key All right. so we're gonna go in here get our chroma key here add that choose OK and for the color that we're going to choose we want to we want to go ahead and chroma key the eyes so I'll just select it here on the little video pane Okay, you notice that kind of became uh, darker that's because it's actually taking out too much right now okay but we're gonna go ahead uh, and move on to the next step before we adjust that next thing you need to do is pick the color of the eyes that you want so let's go ahead and choose red we're gonna drag this right underneath of here okay now you can see it gives everything a red tint that was uh, dark or close to black in color before well that's too much so what we want to do is we want to go ahead go up to the red and we want to do one of two things we can either shrink the media down uh, by using event pan crop or we can go ahead and add the cookie cutter effect Now I like using the cookie cutter because then I can make it a custom shape okay now let's go so that we can just see the red that we're working with we'll go ahead and make it an oval We're going to shrink that size down. Okay, see how I did that? Okay. And we're going to need to move that around to kind of get it where we need it. So let's unmute that. Little trick here while you're working, you can drag that track to the top so you can see if it's the right size. So we'll change our size get it approximately the same size as uh, the face there we'll add a little bit of feathering to kind of soften the edges and I think we probably can move it around a little bit here okay now we've got that just in the area of the eyes so we're gonna put that track back down there now you see how you can see that red well that doesn't look all that good so what we want to do is we want to tweak on here so we go to uh, our events up here and we're gonna adjust the threshold so that we can try to get that so it doesn't show through as badly there we go now we still have the red in the eyes but yet now it's not it's not showing through as badly and you can play with this until you get the threshold the way you want it. Now, one of the things is, <clears throat> because I use chroma key, or if I overlap this over top of another video, you're going to probably see part of that video through this. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our Explorer. We're going to bring that same video clip back in. Okay. Now, let's see here. Actually, I'm just going to copy it up here then I don't have to hunt for it. I'm going to paste it and this time I'm going to turn the chroma king off. There we go. You see the difference in color? I'm going to turn it on and turn it off. Can't tell real well there but it does make a significant difference. Now as the video plays 
the eyes are red. That's just one way that you can do it. Um, you can certainly try working with uh, the different color effects that are in here. Um, however, that's not going to give you as good of quality uh, because it's going to make the face look a different color and so forth. I hope that helps you today. I know that was kind of quick, but uh, have a great day.